In other Wang news now, and a British man has been fined £150 for wandering around with his plums and plonker out. Um, <laughs> Nigel Keir, a 41-year-old naked hiker, uh, was uh, caught... Well, not caught. He was seen in flight. Well, not in flight. He was he was just walking naked through the countryside, and he was given a <laughs> hundred and fifty pound fine for quote causing alarm or distress by just wandering around with his frumper and the Murgatroyds wobbling about <laughs> all over the place. And it doesn't make me think, John. Uh, he quoted the, the, the policeman uh, who uh, caught him was quoted as saying he was wearing nothing, and this was in the, the uh, on the Daily Mail's website and right. possibly in that newspaper as well. I don't know. I don't buy the newspaper. He was wearing nothing but a pair of walking boots and a backpack, and I could clearly see his P asterisk 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 S and, <laughs> and genitals. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yeah. What an overabundance of genitals yeah. that man had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Was that piles? I don't know. I could see there might be a problem in that. Pearls. Pearls. Maybe. Oh, right. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, that kind of shows the extent of the pruder involved. But also, it makes you think, John, I mean, this seems a bit unfair for just walking around as, as God intended, you know, as, mm-hmm. as we all enter the world, knackers out. You know, can, in fact, the almighty Lord actually be sued for making a gentleman's dangler so heinously offensive <laughs> to the legal well, system? Well, that's, see, that's a good question, because in court, the man was fined £150 and ordered to pay another £150 in costs after he was found guilty of causing alarm or distress. And what I love about this story is it's amazing to be able to put an exact monetary amount <laughs> on the distress that someone seeing your penis can cause. <laughs> and I think they may have actually set a dangerous precedent now, <laughs> there's a... An idiotic primal male instinct to compare penises and infer all kinds of different things from the results. And this may be a new one. The financial cost of distress in someone being exposed to your penis. I think people may now be flying from all over the world to hike naked, get arrested, and have a British magistrate rule on how much alarm their penis causes. <laughs> I order you to pay a fine of £170. Yes! I knew it! I knew I had a distressing penis! And you, I order you to pay a fine... Of thirty pounds. What? Why? Oh God! What's wrong with me? Oh no! This is a nightmare. It was very cold outside that day, Your Honour. I demand a retrial. Well, it's a serious design flaw, John, aesthetically and practically, both the flood mm-hmm. and the Trangle Horn. And personally, I think it's uh, time that God was brought to book on this. He really let himself down in a number of ways. <laughs> In uh, November, Switzerland's highest court ruled that a ban on naked hiking um, in uh, a district of Switzerland was legal. So it turns out that Switzerland thinks that going for a wander through the mountains with your scranklers out is worse than Nazi Germany. They <laughs> they weren't too sure about Hitler, <laughs> but to give him credit, at least he kept his underpants on. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>